Right, so inside FL Studio, the first thing we're going to do is grab our song and drop that onto the playlist. And then I'm going to turn the uh, mode on the song up at the top here so we can play the song. And then next we're going to go on the mixer and we're going to add the Z game editor visualizer. And then I'm going to go to the top left of this and I'm going to go on the drop down and choose detached. So that means even if we click off, it's still going to stay at the front. It's not going to disappear. So now I'm just going to rearrange my windows a bit so I can see everything better. Get rid of the mixer for now. Right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to hit play on my track so I can see what's going on. And then I'm going to click on the wizard here. So straight away, if we look here, we've got loads of different templates here ready to have a look at. So I can just have a browse through these and see if there's anything I want to use as my starting point. All right, so first of all, you're going to want to put in your information. So that's your song title and your name. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my information. If you don't want all of these, you can just delete one of them and then that's going to remove it. So you don't need to have you don't need to have the comment or you don't need to have the, the artist's name if you don't want, just delete them. Okay? So the next thing we want to do before we start designing the video is decide which platform we're going to be uploading this to because it's going to have a different shape video for Instagram or YouTube. So at the moment we've got the HD layout which is like your 1920 by 1080 yeah, it's a 16 to 9 ratio, but if we wanted to do it for something like Instagram, where you've got the square video, you'll want to go and choose the 1 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to choose 1 to 1 for this video. And then next we can go through and browse these presets and find something that we like. So there's tons and tons of ready-made uh, templates here. So all you have to do is click them and it's going to load up all the settings for you straight away. And then we're going to need to go back and change to the one to one because for some reason that doesn't lock on. Um, and then also what I really like about this is these random uh, buttons over here. So for instance, I can just click this and it's going to give me a whole new bunch of settings here. Like it's going to give me a complete random template. So I can just flick through these until I find something I like. And then if I, if I like the background, I can lock the background with this little uh, padlock icon and then I can click the randomize and it's now just going to randomize the front parts, the fore, like the foreground parts here. So you can see I'm getting like different visualizer things here and I'm getting different fonts and a different layout for the text. So I quite like this um, little visualizer with the like the play bar at the bottom. So I can lock this song position horizontal because that's this bit here. And then again I could randomize and that's just randomizing the text now. So here we go, I'm just going to say that I like this one for now. So if you want, you can move these bits of text around by clicking the cog wheel here and then you've got different settings. So for move, you're just going to want to choose the first one. All you need to do is left click and then you can move your mouse around and then when you're happy with the position, just left click again and that's going to lock it in. So it's a bit difficult to see what we're doing with these little cog icons in the way. So to turn them off, we can just click this editor button here and that'll get rid of them. So to really get a good look at what's going on, we need to play our song. So to do that, I'm gonna go down and click the play icon down here. I'm not gonna be able to press space bar like I normally would because 
doesn't work and you might find that you accidentally delete your writing there if you do press space so we're just going to press the play button here and now we can see that that's reacting to our song you can go and change the different pieces we don't have to stick with this template so here we've got access to the background we've got the song position circle which is this thing at the moment but we can go and choose different audio visualizers so I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll through so it's up here you can see so you've got your round ones you've got your like your lines you've got your waveforms and all those different ones I think I'm going to go and get one of those flat ones like that and then I'm going to put the editor back on Hmm. So if we want to move this around, for some reason we don't have the editor for that one. So what we need to do is drag it using this. So I'm going to go and place it down here. I think about there, looks good. Okay. And then you can go and choose different backgrounds if you want. I'm going to stick with this one for now. But also, if you don't like any of these, you can find media online or you can browse from your computer and you can load in your own videos or pictures. And if you click find media online, that's going to take you to loads of free content here from Pexels. So you can go ahead and click any of these and it's just going to load straight in as your background. But I'm pretty, pretty happy with what I've got here at the moment. So. If I'm all happy with what we've got here, all I need to do now is click continue to render and save video. And then this is going to load up our export window. So I need to find my location and then type in the name and all that. And then next up we've got presets. So you can choose for the platform that you're exporting to. But I have noticed for some reason they don't seem to have the square aspect ratio if you look they're all 1920 by 1080 or these other ones there's none that are square so what we need for this is going to be like a 1080 by 1080 or something where both sides are the same length and also in this menu they don't seem to have that either so I couldn't for a while work out how to do that and then I've realized that it says right click for custom. So what you need to do is right click and you need to manually type in the size that you want. So maybe if it's just on phones, you could get away with something a bit smaller. So I've decided to do a little bit of research on Google about Instagram and I've found a few bits here, which are going to help me make sure that my video is the best quality it can be. So looking at this, it says that the best to have is 35 for if we go back into export video um, so I want to set this to 35 frame rate of 30 frames per second so we've got that um, maximum video width is 1080p so I think we could go and change this to 1080 by 1080 video should be 920 pixels tall I think that's gonna be more if you're doing like a portrait shape one but I suppose we'll just have to see I'm gonna go ahead and do the 1080 by 1080 one and see how that comes out all right so my video has just finished exporting and it's took around 10 minutes so I'm gonna go and take a look at the finished product now so here's my rendered video and um, it's playing nice and smooth and this is only going to be viewed on phones most likely with it going on Instagram so it's going to be viewed a lot smaller. So yeah that's the basics of using the wizard to make your videos. So in the next tutorial we're going to go on and we're going to make a video from scratch building it ourselves. 
within the program over here. So we're not going to use the wizard. We're going to do everything from scratch. 